Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Bailey and today's video is super exciting because I have another wedding series video for you guys. So Matt and I have officially been married for three weeks now and it has been going great. We have been so much loving the newlywed life, but I am so excited to be sharing with you guys this video today because today's video is all about everything that I purchased off of Etsy for my wedding. So I know Etsy is a huge platform, especially for wedding things. So I thought it would be fun to share with you guys everything that I bought off of Etsy for my wedding. I bought quite a few things for my wedding off of Etsy and it's seriously like everything I got was perfect and awesome and turned out exactly how I wanted it so I thought it'd be fun to share those things with you guys today so if you guys enjoyed today's video make sure to go ahead and give it a thumbs up as well as hit the subscribe button down below it means the world to me when you guys subscribe to my channel and you definitely don't want to miss any future wedding series videos coming up because this will definitely not be the last one that I film for you guys so yeah without further ado let's just get into everything I bought off Etsy for my wedding Okay guys, so the first thing I bought off Etsy for my wedding, well it definitely wasn't the first thing, but one of the things that I'm going to show you, I'm not going to go in order when I bought it just because I can't even like remember that far back, but one of the first things that I got off Etsy for our wedding are our vow books. So Matt and I wrote our own vows, let me go ahead and see if you can see this. So yeah, Matt and I wrote our own vows and said them at the wedding ceremony. So I wanted a super cute book for them to go into. So when we were up there reading them in front of our friends and family, like they were pretty and they also looked really good in the photos that the photographer took. So yeah, these are, they say her vows and his vows have a really pretty ribbon on them. You could choose the color of ribbons. I just chose this like mauve pink type ribbon. And it also says our wedding date at the bottom, 8-1-2020. So I love these, they were super pretty and I got those off of Etsy. I'm not quite sure the price. I'll try to link everything that I got um, down below in the description box. So if you want them, you can click that link. It'll take you directly to them. But yeah, these turned out super pretty and I'm absolutely like, I love them and they were perfect for what we needed them to do. Okay, next I got off Etsy is this ring box. So this is a really pretty, velvet ring box and it has a W on it as you can see and then when you open it up it just has two little ring spots. Um, I put my rings in this on the wedding day and the photographer used this in um, like styled photos. I'll go ahead and insert one here but I really wanted a velvet ring box from a company I think called the Mrs. Box. MRS box or something like that but they're like $80 a piece and I just wasn't about to pay that for a velvet ring box so I found this one off Etsy I think it was like 30 or something like that and it did the job it's really pretty and I keep this on my nightstand and put my ring in it every night so yeah I love this and like I said it was a lot more affordable option than the Mrs. box and I love it so yeah this is one of my favorite Etsy purchases for sure so off of Etsy we also got these cups so we had a beer trailer at our wedding that was how we chose to serve alcohol and I really wanted everyone to have personalized cups that they could take home and use as a like favor I guess from our wedding so we got these cups off of Etsy and they say oh happy day Williams 8120 this is what they look like up close so yeah we got these off Etsy I think for like 200 cups I think these are 16 ounce it was like around 200 so about a dollar a cup and these were a super big hit at the wedding um i loved using them all our guests loved using them and then most of our guests took them home like i said as a wedding favor and we have some really cute pictures that matt and i got of us like serving ourselves the beer trailer with these cups and i can't wait to get those pictures back so yeah i got these off of etsy and i love them um i know you can also get like koozies and stuff off of etsy that are personalized with your wedding date so these were definitely a fan favorite of my wedding and i love them so on Etsy, you can buy a lot of printable, well not printable, always printable. You can buy a lot of downloadable like templates that you can edit for your wedding day. I know they have invites, they have like save the date, stuff like that. But we got most of our, um, what do you call it? Stationary or like wedding paperage. I don't even know how you say that. Whatever. We got like our invites, our save the date and our wedding programs all from this one company. But my mom last minute really wanted to put thank you cards on the place settings of every person's seat. So she got this template off of Etsy. It turned out super pretty. So this is what it looks like. So it has the greenery at the top and just says thank you um, to our family and friends da, 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 with love Matthew and Bailey Williams. So these were sitting on every single person's dinner plate. Um, and just a cute thing to, you know, thank everyone for coming and celebrating with us. But we got this template off of Etsy and printed them out, I think, at like Staples or something. So, 
Next, I definitely remember this being one of the first purchases I made after I got engaged and was super excited about planning my wedding, but I got this adorable wooden hanger that says Mrs. Williams on it um, in wire. So I used this on the wedding day for my wedding dress and I really loved it. It looked super pretty in pictures and in the video and it's just something that I can always use to hold my wedding dress on. So I got this off Etsy. Like I said, I don't remember the price um, exactly, but I do remember it being super affordable and I thought it was super pretty and just a good thing to have on the wedding day. So for our wedding, we did a lot of different signage, but we didn't want to go with the normal just like wooden signs everywhere. So our theme was more of acrylic signs with wooden bases. So I went on Etsy and I was looking at all the different acrylic signs and what they said and what I wanted them to say. But with the print or like the wording already on them, they were around like $30 a piece. And I thought that was a little bit expensive for a sign. So I have a friend that has a Cricut or I think that's how you say it. And I knew that she could print all of the like decals on the signs for me. So I went on Etsy and I bought these plain acrylic signs with the stand. So it didn't come with the wording on it. It's just the glass sign and the wooden stand for I think like $10 a piece. So I got like four or five of these. Um, and like this one says, please sign our guest book. I know we had another one for the beer tub. It said, we said, I did not choose a brew. We had one that was like our in memory of sign. So yeah, instead of purchasing them already, like with the writing on them or um, you know, painted on them, we bought them plain with the base. And then we had a friend print this, um, print the signage off with her Cricut, but you also could use a paint pen and write it on there yourself or have a friend write it on there if they have really good handwriting, but it was a cheaper way to get the look we wanted, um, without spending like 30 bucks off of Amazon or not Amazon off of Etsy. So this ended up being a cheaper option for us instead of buying them already with the writing on them and then we could have it say whatever we wanted. So yeah, you just have to search like plain acrylic sign and then the size you want. I think this is an eight by 10. So yeah, this is how we did our signage and most of our signage was this acrylic type signage, I guess you could say. So yeah, this was another good Etsy find and saved us some money. Next off of Etsy, I also got our cake topper off of Etsy. So this is what our cake topper looks like it's just wooden and gold it says mr and mrs williams on it and it went in the top of our cake obviously um i got this off of etsy really early on in our engagement as well but i loved the way it looked i loved what it said and it was super affordable most everything you find on etsy is going to be pretty affordable so yeah we got this off of etsy and i think it turned out really pretty so i really liked this another thing i got off of etsy was my wedding date robe and my bridesmaids wedding day robes so i don't have any bridesmaid robes with me right now and i don't yet have our pictures back from the photographer but i will insert a picture from etsy of the bridesmaids robes here but i really wanted something unique and something that i would never seen anyone done before and if you know me you know i'm obsessed with anything leopard or cheetah print like my watch um band is leopard print my phone case i don't know where my phone is right now but it is leopard print so i wanted to do cheetah slash leopard print bridesmaids robes so that is what i did and i found them on etsy by i think the like store on like store name is mod party so i got those off of there and all of my bridesmaids loved them i thought they were super cute and i was very very happy with them but then i tried for the longest time to find like a white cheetah print robe for me but i could never find one so i just went with the basic white like wedding day robe so this is what my robe looked like i wear it all the time but the back of it says mrs williams on it and then the front of it on one of the pop like sides has my new monogram so this was my robe for the wedding day super cute i wear it all the time now and once again like most everything on etsy it was pretty affordable and yeah i really liked it and it was the perfect like wedding day robe also had pockets which was super awesome so Loved this and it was a great Etsy find as well as the bridesmaid robes. I really want to go back and like purchase um, one of the bridesmaid robes just for me for my daily use because it's leopard print, cheetah print, and that's like my favorite thing. So I definitely want to go back and purchase one. But yeah, I got those off of Etsy as well as my robe and I was absolutely in love with them. 
Okay, so now the last few things that I got off Etsy are bigger things and those were another like two wedding signs. So Matt and I chose to do the cord of three strands like unity braid type thing for our unity ceremony part of the ceremony. Um, you can do like candles, you can do like sand, you can do a bunch of different stuff, but we chose to do the braids. So I got our cord of three strands sign off of Etsy. So it's pretty big. This is what it looks like. It says a cord of three strands is not easily broken. Ecclesiastes 4, 9 through 12. And then it has this pretty little decal right here. And it says the Williams, August 1st, 2020, and then has the braid. So I was in love with this. Um, it goes in our, like it hangs in our bedroom now. And it's really special to have in our bedroom and it looks like really good with our decor, but I know when I was picking this out, um, you can choose different types of wood stain. I think they have like a lighter wood, um, this color, a gray, um, a natural wood, stuff like that. And then you can also choose a different color of like rope. I just went with white, but you can get like a natural rope color, um, you know, different things. But yeah, I was in love with this and this is also something I bought early on. Oh, it says our wedding day too. I don't know if I said that, but yeah, this is something I chose very early on in our engagement and wedding planning process but i love this and it hangs in our bedroom now so it's a special little thing that we can always have and look on and remember our ceremony by so i love that and it was less than a hundred dollars which is a really good deal for the size of it i think and then lastly um we had like i said the acrylic signage was like our theme for the wedding like acrylic greenery cream stuff like that um with like touches of wood and gold so we went with an acrylic welcome sign for our wedding so you can see me through it but this is what it says it was from um, a really popular etsy shop called mulberry market design i believe um this one is like a lot of the signs were the um what do you call it the cricket like sticker stuff but this was actually hand painted um so it just says and i chose gold for this so it was a little bit different um it just says welcome to our wedding bailey and matthew 8 1 2020 so this was super pretty it sat right at the beginning of our ceremony like we had two barrels and then like the aisle and then seats on either side and this sat on the left hand side um on an easel in front of one of the barrels with some greenery on it so it was super pretty and this again was off etsy and i think this is a 24 by 36 and i think i paid a little over a hundred dollars for it so not too expensive but yeah this turned out super pretty and i loved the way it looked on the wedding day so i believe that is everything that i got off of etsy for our wedding day like i said everything that i got was pretty affordable i think only that sign was over a hundred dollars um, and the rose because I had to buy so many of them. But yeah, I loved everything I got off of Etsy um, for our wedding day. Like I said, I will link everything down below in the description box if you want to shop anything for your wedding day. But yeah, Etsy is a great resource for your wedding and you can find literally anything and everything on there for your wedding day. Everything is customizable, you know. Oh no, I forgot to show you guys one more thing, but I don't even think I have it. I have no idea where it went. But another thing I got off of Etsy was my wedding garter. So that is also one thing I got off of Etsy. Uh, I'll insert a picture of the wedding garter I got here. But I took on my wedding dress after the wedding. And I honestly don't even know where my garter went. Which is kind of sad. But yeah, I have no idea, no idea where it went. I know that Ben Johnson, um, Matt's best friend, has the like toss garter but as far as the garter that i was supposed to keep i genuinely have no idea where that went i probably should look into trying to find that but yeah i also got that off of etsy so i'll link that down below as well but i hope you guys enjoyed this video and got a little inspiration for your upcoming wedding if you're a bride or getting engaged in the upcoming future um i hope this was a helpful video for you guys hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did like i said at the beginning of this video make sure you give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button down below and i'll catch you guys in my next video bye guys